Hello everyone, this is Chris and I'd like to welcome you to another conversation about your Kundalini Awakening scenario. And in this scenario, I want to really talk with you about your third eye and opening the third eye and forcing that that extremely sensitive area to come open because it's the popular thing to do or because, you know, your friends are doing it or because you think it's going to bring you a greater level of phenomena. Now, it indeed can bring you a greater level of phenomena, but it won't always be phenomena that you're prepared to have. Uh, imagine, imagine being placed into a a universe where you are constantly being besieged by entities that you, before this opening of the third eye, you were not aware of. This is what some. This is this is one of the things that can happen, and I just want to really express upon you the importance of allowing the Kundalini to open your third eye rather than your ego wishes or will. Okay, you need to understand that some things divinity needs to give to you, not your ego, not your friends, not your family, not your society, not your belief system. Forcing the third eye can be extremely challenging to an individual. It can bring people into the psych ward because their reality begins to fracture. And I don't want that to happen with you. You're already extremely precious to Kundalini or you wouldn't even be watching this video. Do not force the third eye. Watch and control your desires to, to engage in a phenomena addiction, i.e. wanting to see a spirit or wanting to see souls or wanting to communicate much the same way that a channeler does. Don't go this route with Kundalini. Do not. Okay. The best thing that you can do to gently... Open your third eye to the grace that Kundalini has to bring. It's a very simple practice, a very simple technique. I want you to bring your eyes up like so. Bring them up like that behind your closed eyelids. And then as your eyes are up like that, and I may have mentioned this in another video, but it bears repeating. I want you to say the Aum, the Aum. And make sure that the beginning of the aum, the A-U, the ow, is as long as the m, mm. And make sure that your eyes are in the up position when you're in the m mm aspect. Now, if you can do it throughout the whole chant, that is great. Now, And do this about, oh, 30 times. You can do it laying on your back. You can do it uh, sitting in a chair. You can do it, you know, after you do your meditation or before you do your meditation. But find a way to do it on a daily level and let the divine determine when the most appropriate time is for you to have a third eye activation. Thanks for watching.